Yeah, President Obama says the shutdown will throw a wrench into the gears of the recovering economy. Experts believe the impact depends on how long it lasts. Anthony Mason is with us. Anthony, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. How will we see the impact? Well, I think it depends on how long this lasts. I mean, in the short term, there isn't a huge impact. And then most Americans won't even feel it unless you plan to vacation to Yosemite or we're going to go to the right. Smithsonian. You know, it, it, you won't feel it. I mean, you're still, Social Security checks are still coming. That's the important stuff. Mail's still going to be delivered. But if this goes into a second week, things will start to change. I think the real pressure here will come from the market if it senses this is going on longer than it thought. If you look at the numbers, though, the Dow fell more and there was a longer impact in the economy from the debt limit fight, right, right. rather than the last time there was a government shutdown. That, that's the real scary part of this. If we get to that and we don't have a resolution, you could have real panic because that brings into account financial markets. That's the Treasury market. If for some reason we don't start paying our bills, then you know what? The whole Treasury market seizes up, and that's what the whole world functions and like. And when is that going to happen? That's in the middle of the month on the 17th, and uh, that's when we essentially run out of money. There's some, there's some wiggle room in there, but the real scary part of this, what Wall Street is afraid of, is if we don't extend the debt ceiling, then you could have real chaos in Treasury markets, and that's essentially the gold standard of the world. Everybody trusts U.S. Mm -hmm. Treasuries. If you can't trust them, then you could have and, a real financial and crisis. And the president says he'll not negotiate. He says he won't negotiate. But, you know, I mean, look, we've been driving along this cliff road now a number of times. I, I, think, I think what's happened is Wall Street is thinking, you know, okay, we know, how to we know where this road goes. It doesn't mean there's still not a risk. It doesn't mean you could still couldn't go over the side. It's really scary if we get to that debt ceiling limit and we don't extend. I do feel, though, that we've heard this song before. So as we sit here today, what should we be worried about? The average American, as you're sitting at home watching us, what do I need to be concerned about? Well, I, what, what I'm concerned about is what's the ultimate what's the ultimate game plan from a certain element of the Republicans in Congress? Because because it's not clear whether they're just sort of playing with this one week shutdown of the government or they're looking for something bigger. Because everybody's looking at this is the first battle in a wider war, mm -hmm. and the the real war is the debt ceiling. And that's the scariest part of the whole thing, yeah, economically. The real question, the credibility of the United States. Exactly. And if that comes into doubt, then you could cause chaos in financial markets around the entire world. Anthony, thank you.